Good morning and welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for being here. Hope you're doing well this morning. The songs that came from the finished reading, I only got to. Um, the first one was Lady Wilson, I Know a Few Things a Man I Know. And the second one was Stand By Me. Uh, all right, let's jump right in because I got to get busy this morning. What virtues are you working on in the collective spirit? Perseverance and responsibility. Humility. And peace. So somehow we've learned some kind of lesson in humility. Being responsible, never giving up, and having peace. Alright, Spirit, how are you working on your collective for spiritual growth? Thank you. There's something that's over. Over. The world card is here. The world is about things coming full circle. It's about oh, you've been around the world and back again with whatever situation you've been through and the devil is in reverse on the bottom of the deck so there was some toxicity involved in this it may still be well, we're gonna find out let's take the energy oracle i love the energy oracle y'all know that all right spirit what's going on with this ending this is a major ending it had to do with deceit and indecision Somebody was deceiving themselves and not making a decision, or deceiving somebody else and not making a decision. The angel of balance and indecision. We have, for some reason, we're having a hard time making decisions in this collective. Maybe we're not in control of our decision. Happy, happy, and angel of balance. So whatever this decision you finally made, <coughs> it's going to bring you happy, happy. Well, that's good. One more time on here. Take action if you want to be happy, happy. So we're going to take that action. I think yesterday we figured out that you hadn't told the person you were ready to tell. You hadn't said anything to them yet. All right, what would you say today? I was... Goddess of the Moon is here, and a woman holding a heart in reverse. So, somebody's over it, looks like to me. Somebody's over waiting for you to make this decision, or you've made it, and this person is no longer going to be a part of your life. Number 52 says, Goddess of the Moon, upright. This is about you using your intuition and going within. This card shows an eternal spirit holding the bright reflective moon and standing in front of a crystal clear water of a sparkling waterfall. Her arms are stretched upward, receiving the light of the moon, the light of inspiration. This card is about intuition, the ability to receive insight from your soul's point of view. Receiving this card upright tells you that you have the power to get intuitive information of all types on issues, and now is the time to use it. The Goddess of the Moon brings you all sorts of information, from the mundane to the spectacular, for instance, you could get the urge to take a different route home from work and find out later that you avoided a three-hour traffic jam. Or you might have an idea for a great invention, a stock investment, or a spellbinding novel. This card could also indicate a significant blossoming of psychic ability and mediumship, even on a professional level. You've always been, you've all, <clears throat> you're always blessed with the ability to connect. But this card is telling you that now is the perfect time to open up. 
Get ready for the amazing inspiration that brings. So you've got your intuition coming through strongly. And it's trying to help you with this. It's trying to help you to see every angle of, of the situation, whatever the situation is. And there's a woman holding a heart involved. Number 44. dealing with family love or emotions when in reverse this card reversed could indicate a state of being emotionally overwhelmed and you may feel as though you, the love, your love life is turned upside down it could also refer to some difficulty in a family matter or close friendship if this is the case it's time to let go or resolve this now there's also a possibility that this woman reversed to someone who brings a negative emotional influence to your life. There may be jealousy, resentments, or even more subtle manipulations going on. Don't take things personally, but endeavor to bring greater clarity and calm self-empowerment to the situation. And always remember to bring a loving, heartfelt energy to yourself. <coughs> I am emotionally calm and peaceful. And I attract healthy and stable people in, towards me. So you could have attracted somebody that's emotionally immature and unhealthy towards you. And you're having to figure out how to deal with this using your emotions. You're over it, though. You're over it. You're at the end of it. You're like, no more. I can't take this anymore. Let's find out what's going on here. I love these cards. This is the uh, Clarity Tarot. And we'll read them all on the other side. There's a King of Pentacles showing up with a Knight of Pentacles. Judgment and a Knight of Pentacles. So it's like seeing the truth about this younger person. It could be a younger person in your life that's showing your ass. <coughs> There's somebody in your life that's not stable. The High Priestess in the Knight of Pentacles. That's there. There it is, right there. There it is, right there. The, knight, the Knights can be men or women. There's no gender in general readings, anyway. All right. So, show me, Spirit, what's going on here? Why is this world showing up here? King of the Pot. Why is the world showing up here? Because of the Nine of Wands, the King of Wands, and the Seven of Wands. There's a lot of fire. Somebody's pissed off. The Nine of Wands is about resolving challenges with your partner. And if it's about money, the worst is over and you have stability coming up. If it's about love with the King of Wands, he's affectionate and a very passionate person. And the very inspirational and possible new job with clarity. So you could be getting clarity about a new job. Or you could just be this passionate, affectionate man. And then the Seven of Wands is a, somebody has a huge ego and they're seeing the other side. Like you have a big ego and your partner doesn't and you're seeing their side of things. And if it's about money, it's about holding your ground and ha diligently working. Like, just keep working at it and hold your ground. <clears throat> Don't give up just because it's getting, times are tough. <laughs> All right, why is this woman holding the heart here? Five of Cups and the Hermit. 
This is somebody that's soul searching, needing time to learn more independence, seeking counsel from wiser people. And it's about regret, remorse, and resentment. And it's, if it's about money, it's about feeling unfulfilled. Don't throw good money after bad. So this woman is either causing you to soul search. There's been a serious loss here that's caused regret and resentment. That's why this woman's here. And you intuitively know, you intuitively know that this person It's been challenging, whatever's happened here. <coughs> I'm going to have to get a little bit more information about that. And then the Three of Pentacles. This could be something that you were trying to work together as a team on, or there could be one too many people. So far, we have a woman here and a man here. But there's two women showing up here. There's a Native American here, and there's another woman over here who's crying. She looks like the same one who was trying to defend something here. It's like she was trying to defend this relationship. And one of them had a big ego and couldn't see the other one's point of view. And so that's what it looks like it looks like this person had a big ego <clears throat> this king of wands and they usually do they usually represent um a leo they had a big ego and they could not see the other person's point of view but this one held their ground this person held their ground against this person's ego and now this, that's why they're like, I'm done. I'm done, done. I'm done trying to help you. There's no helping you. It's like your ego is so big and you're never wrong. That kind of thing. And it looks like you're about to lose something good because you have a big ego. And you can't admit you're wrong. You're stubborn. Let's see what kind of healing comes out. See if we're on track here. Clarify this um, healing. Yeah, you're over it. Totally done. This is over. You're over this relationship. This could be a friendship. Somebody's about to go wild, too. It could just be a friendship. It doesn't have to be romantic. But you've tried and tried and tried to help this person, and they just have too big of an ego. They never see their part in things. They refuse to see their part in things. Show me what's going on in this King of Wands heart spirit, secretly behind the scenes. What's going on in their heart? They got sidetracked. They got sidetracked, distracted, or delayed. And there's something that they are not willing to change. All right. How did that affect the other person's feelings? They felt like they had lost something, but they held their head high. They didn't, they didn't let it show how much this loss affected them. They kept their head held high. They held their pride. See, they have a lot of pride. They won't admit how much they miss you and they wish you hadn't left them. And you did leave them. You got sidetracked. And you're arrogant. And this person's tried and tried and tried and tried to get you to open up to them and to be friends with them and to try and make this work anyway. And you just refuse. So they're soul searching over here. What are they seeing as they soul search? That there's illusions. There's persons not speaking to them 
there's regret, but they're not telling them. And they're pretending like everything's okay. <clears throat> What's this person about to do next? The hermit, the soul-searching person. They're guarded, cautious, and afraid. So they've got walls up. What's the King of Wands about to do next? They're spying for one thing. What are they about to do next? They're, you're, they're getting high, it looks like. You, you're, they're euphoric. They're open-hearted and clinging. They're watching, holding on, obsessing and watching. They're clinging on to you. But they're doing it they, they're receptive and open-hearted, and they want this, but they're also chasing thrills. They're, they're just having a good time, and you're not having a good time. You're very sad about how this all played out, and you're over it. You're tired of being left out. You're tired of clashing with this person, is what I see here. All right, show me how this happens, Spirit. There's a new love, or was, that's how it happened. What's being hidden, or what was being hidden? That you had differences, you had a dying love, you had no way out, this is not for you, and it's a commitment. So secretly you have differences, a dying love, no escape. Even though this commitment is not for you, secretly you are in a relationship that's not for you, and you've found somebody new. All right, what's being shown? You might even be planning on marrying this person, the one that's not for you. That you feel helpless and there's unsent messages. You want to reach out to this person, but your pride won't let you. And what's going to happen next? Don't lose hope. Somebody's been forever changed. And this is a waiting game. What should they do about the waiting game? It's divinely guided to be a waiting game. I, I choose you on the bottom of the deck. Oh, this person. Oh. All right, show me where this person is. <coughs> union came out. What do you mean union? They're at union. They have memories and nostalgia. They're numbing and they admire you. Well, who the hell are they having a union with? They regret it. Somebody they communicate with and they regret it. They had union and I guess they regret it. Alright, so where's the other person at? That's the one who's over it and look who it is. Divine Feminine is over it over it completely over it what's connecting these two it's like seeing signs signs of what this settling in an inner child this getting settled in an inner child clarify what you mean by settling this person got themselves stuck so what's divine feminine going to do next Destruction is coming for Divine Feminine. Clarify destruction. It has to do with somebody who's absorbing her from her tribe. What do you mean? They're going to have a fresh start when it comes to being separated and they want to have devotion. How does that help? They're about to find somebody new, I think. There's some deception. Clarify deception. <clears throat> they're going to go in a new direction. They're healing. And they're feeling the vibes.
Somebody just themed them, so they're going to go in a new direction. They're healing, and they're, they're over it. They're over it. What's this person going to do? They're at a crossroads. What are they likely to do at this crossroads? They're awakening to the fact that there's no creativity. What do you mean, no creativity? The winner came out. What about the winner? There's going to be an offer made in the winner. Who's the offer going to be for? <coughs> Somebody is going to take, have a metamorphosis. They're going through a major change and they're going to take off their mask. Show me who this is. The spring is here with a commitment and be patient. There's grief and a third party right now, and it's affecting somebody's big dreams. Alright, show me what's going on right here, Spirit. Show me what's going on. Warning. Warning about what? A big warning. Friendship, different pages. There needs to be support when it comes to children. Warning, friendship, different pages when it comes to support about children. What's the truth about the children? There's your treat. You need to back off. What do you mean, back off? You can trust and take a leap of faith. This is fate. What's fate? Somebody's longing, but there's boundaries. <coughs> I'm falling on the floor. I can see it coming. <sighs> Chairs coming out from under me. You better take this warning seriously because it's about to throw my ass down on the ground. Alright, so somebody's longing to take a leap of faith. And it's fate that you do it. But for some reason you're 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 gonna have that you need boundaries and it's saying wait. What do you mean wait? Somebody's fixing to get a second chance and accept this. But everything happens for a reason. So clarify the second chance. It's about finances and a twin flame with self care on the bottom of the deck. So take it as it resonates. It looks like there may be a second chance coming from somewhere for a second, I mean, for a twin flame. Somebody's going to surrender. They've learned a lesson and they feel the vibes. They're manifesting and they're awakening. Or you are and they are. Somebody's seeing the truth and it's making them happy. They have thought and prayer. What else? One more time. That's what we did. You're going to have prosperity and love here with the guardian angel on the bottom of the deck. All right, let's look at your money. Since prosperity did come out for you, I'm hearing you feel the deck. All right, Spirit, so talk to me about the money between these two individuals. Somebody's been a rescuer. And there, somebody's a rescuer and they work smart. All right, what else? Caution, Spirit says. Caution about business. What do you mean, caution about business? It's about making mistakes. 
at the office being a rebel when it comes to your comfort. Clarify mistakes. It's about having a windfall. The mistakes are about having a windfall, your spirituality, and designing, being a designer and celebrating. That's the mistake, is that you're having a windfall. Your spirituality is here. The office is here, celebrating and a designer. There's a promoter and no charity. Anything else we need to know? How does spirituality fit? <clears throat> That's why things have come to a halt because of trust. You don't trust spirit, I think. What should they do, spirit? You need to have, you, you have too much, you're trying to control things too much. What should they do instead? We see trust. Well, how else can they? Oh, Spirit says there's been a big loss. Clarify what you mean. You better start manifesting. You need to start manifesting. You've had a loss. What's going to be the outcome of manifesting after this loss? You're going to have options. And you're going to be a sport. Maybe in sports. Maybe working for a sports. You know, um, maybe working. Like, I know a guy, he works at a place where they do concerts downtown Raleigh at Walnut Creek or wherever that's at in Raleigh. And he works security there. So maybe you're going to have the option to do something like that where you work, you know, ball games, cleaning up after the games or doing whatever. But there's going to be a loss. Clarify the loss. It has something to do with animals. Follow your instincts. Any career working with animals, rescue. Remember I said you were in rescue? Connect with the power animal to improve your finances. What do you mean they're going to have a loss of an animal? Oh, it has something to do with their health. So you could have a sick animal. And if so, I'm sending you a lot of love. Oh, spirit, put your arms around this person. Be careful how you spend your money. Make your peace. You're an entertainer. I'm so sorry if you have a sick animal today. Alright, I think we're going to stop there. I am going to get you one of these. Spirit said to get you one of these. Alright, Spirit, talk to me. One card, please, because these are so long. You had to give me two, didn't you? One card, please. Don't tell her slow how I argue with spirit. Alright, there's one card, and that's the one I'm going to take. Listening for truth. <coughs> you did have truth is the way the angels were going to help you. Number 36, listening for truth. The bottom of the deck is what do you feel? But I'm not going to read that one. Not unless it's prompted to in the book. Listening for your truth. Truth speaks to us constantly, but not always in words. It may communicate through a feeling that is hard to put into words, but brings in explicable sense of peace, trust, and knowledge that somehow everything is going to work out perfectly. Even if there is little evidence of how it is all going to happen. 
You are being asked to listen for the truth beneath the words rather than the superficial message of the words themselves. This is especially true for the communications of those around you, the press, the newspapers, and the mass media. You will begin to hear fear in the words and actions of those around you, even as they preach love. Listen deeper. Listen for the truth. <clears throat> The oracle comes with a message of truth for you. You are hearing something that is not being said, and what you are hearing is true. You may feel as though you are the only one that is really ready to hear or see it. Perhaps you have been working in a situation or loving in a relationship where truth is consistently denied. We live in a world where truth is frequently avoided out of fear of what it might reveal. At the basis of such actions, consciously or not, it is a deep sense of unhealed toxic shame. If you or someone else is fearful that the truth will expose rather than free and heal, then some personal healing is required. It is time for letting go of old wounds in favor of greater sense of self-love and acceptance. You are being asked to love yourself enough to honor the truth, even if you feel you are the only one doing so. Sacred rebels need truth like lungs need oxygen. Truth keeps the energy of life flowing through the rebellious heart. Lies dampen the spirit of the sacred rebel. Even if those with less awakened hearts fear the truth, you must not turn away from it. Don't resent the state of affairs. Perhaps your job is to show that truth can be witnessed even when many want to hide from it. What others do is always their choice, but through your honorable deeds done with integrity, you will not you will be set free no matter what the outcome. You are a truth seeker. Never deny or try to quiet this down to make others more comfortable. You are meant to be an agitator at times. Even though you don't have the you, you don't have to confront people to do it. You don't necessarily have to say a word, though sometimes you will. Often you will agitate in the most loving sense by unveiling truth simply through your own knowings. Hold compassion for the truth simply through your knowing. Hold compassion for the truth you behold. Do not use them as knives to cut another or yourself with harshness, but as a clear insight that allows one to loosen the knots that bind simply by knowing which thread to gently tug. This oracle brings you guidance. If you have been worn down and depressed by, li by lies, gossip, deceit, or backstabbing going around you, <coughs> don't fret. Get out, of na get out in nature and spend some time consuming, co I'm sorry, communing with the in infinite Healing will come to you now, no matter how many times, in how many ways, or by how many tongues untruth is spoken. You know what you know in your sacred rebellious heart. That truth is your connection to the living truth of life itself. Don't give up. Just open up to the healing you know, and the truth will always eventually prevail. Healing process. Place your hand very lightly in the front and back of your throat and say, I now release all vows of silence I have ever made, consciously or not. I now release all lies, deception, and painful words, spoken or unspoken, that are affecting my ability to clearly know and speak my truth. I am held in unconditional love with protection and grace, so be it. You have finished your healing process. You might like to say something true just to anchor it. 
how about within be, within me beyond all that rises and falls only truth remains so you're having a hard time expressing your truth which is back to where we had the original message a few days ago and you needing help with your throat chakra opening because you're afraid to speak the truth you're afraid of what everyone might think that whatever it is holding you from speaking your truth but you have to speak your truth may i have a message out of this book the element of air blows out the old and in the new. Think about what you wish to release and what you wish to call in. Write a list of things that no longer bring you happiness. Face east and burn them. Then write down all the joys you wish the magical winds to blow in your direction. There's something you're wanting in life that you're refusing and denying yourself having simply because you feel others will not approve that's what i'm getting and in in order for you to have this you're going to have to speak the truth and you've been lying to people because of your concern about how they might feel about you you know whatever this is it could be anything it doesn't have to be a love relationship but although it, however it does feel like one and it says up here don't lose hope you've been forever changed and it's a waiting game and you're being divinely guided but something's over something's over did i pull a card on the devil i don't think i did let me pull a card on the devil. Why is the devil on the bottom of the deck in reverse? Because of the sun. Because you're finally going to find your happiness. You're finally going to find your freedom and your happiness by being authentic, by being yourself. And you're going to probably find it through, through love being dedicated to each other and by money getting a raise or getting respect for your work clarify the sun please that didn't take but a second the four of cups withdrawing affection and feeling indifferent and being attracted to money and security you're going to be happy for withdrawing your love, I guess, or for being drawn to money and security. <laughs> oh, here is the Nine of Cups. You're about to have wish fulfillment. Somebody spying on you, too. You're about to have wish fulfillment. And it, it may include you withdrawing love because others simply will not see the truth. But that is not your problem. That is not your problem. Yours is to see the truth and to listen below the surface because others might be speaking something that's a lie. Maybe they're not saying anything at all, but their actions are a lie. So I play the guitar. All right, that's going to be it for today. V-U-V-D-A-Z-E. W D P P L F K P L A I P J H J K J N O A T H F D A N C F M O T K P V N <coughs> J A F F S G V one more time I'm hearing M F F N P L P I only got two 
so much of me is made from what I learned from you. You'll be like a handprint on my heart forever. And I got a turtle, a sea turtle. I got a feather. I got marijuana or maple leaf. I got believe in love, drive safe, I need you here with me, a dragonfly, a cactus or a prick and a light bulb. Aha. Uh -huh. Aha. Uh -huh. <laughs> All right, y'all have a great day. I'll see you around. Bye-bye.